This tutorial is to help show you how to use the beam span calculator. I'm going to go to the calculator's link as usual, and if you're familiar with it, you just click right to beam. But I want to show you first how I lead into the beam span with a function on the joist span, and it'll, it'll, you'll see how this works. So if you've already watched the joist span video, uh, you'll understand this. If, if you haven't, I recommend you watch the joist span video first. But let's assume we've just done a calculation on the beam span um, calculator, the joist span calculator, and now we've done the calculation. And we want to now import this combination of joist size and joist spacing over to the beam span calculator because the two are very related. So what we're going to do now is on the bottom here, it says click here to pass the results of this calculation onto the beam span calculator. We do that. It takes us to the beam span calculator. And this is going to tell us how, what this tells us is how far apart we can place the, the posts that support, the supporting posts that hold up the beam that you saw in the last calculator. So it's this distance here. You got to get this sort of in your head. Sometimes people get confused by this. This particular view I'm looking at is the front of the deck, assuming that the joists are running perpendicular out from the house towards us, okay? So you're standing in front of the house looking at the house and this is what you would, you won't actually see these as transparent uh, just to show you where the joists are. And we're going to calculate what the maximum distance these posts can be spaced uh, center to center to hold up that beam. And we're going to keep southern yellow pine, that's imported. We're going to keep the joist span at 16 feet. But let's, this is what you can play with, is the size of the beam. Now, Two two by sixes, yeah, you could do that, but most people, I, I, I really think you should be working with at least two two by eights, and you can also, you can, you can also use it. Well, calculate just as it is right now, no overhangs, and that tells us it's five feet seven, center to center to center. Okay, but let's add an overhang in there, and I'll calculate. Tells us that the overhang can be no greater than one feet four inches from here to here. And uh, again, so, so this is this will work with the drawing that you've, you've, you've done. And the nice thing is we can use the print function again. So let's print that out. I'm going to move this over, the screen over, so you can see where it is again, hopefully. Hopefully it's in the middle there for you. Okay. Again, the pages are formatted for your printer, 8.5 by 11 inch paper. Very nice. And it summarizes everything here, the species, the beam size, uh, the joist span, the overhang. Great little piece of paper to print out and put into your application. So that's how the that's how the beam span calculator works and how you coordinate it for use with the uh, with the joist span calculator. Any questions? Don't hesitate to give uh, give me a, an email. I read all your email and I'm always looking to improve the site. And I thank you very much for stopping by. Ideas for DeckDesigns.com for all your needs for planning and designing and building your deck.